Good morning, friends. It's the same time as when I chalked last week. It's Saturday, August 8th, but it's cloudy, so it's darker outside. Um, gosh, I don't know what time it is. Probably about 6.15. I'm going to get started, and we'll see. Hopefully, the video is okay. Ah, this is a little better. I think it was a little dark on my front porch. Um, I forgot to mention, thank you, thank you for voting. I posted on Facebook and Instagram um, if I should chalk a raccoon or a cardinal. On Instagram, when I last checked, because there's still some votes coming in today, um, it was pretty close, but slightly in the lead for me chalking a raccoon. And on Facebook, there's a lot more raccoon votes uh, than cardinal votes. So that's so much fun for me. It's so much fun to wave hi to you on social media. Thanks for voting, and I'm going to go get started. I thought I'd stop for a minute and talk about how I do this. So I sketched out the raccoon. I also sketched out a cardinal um, that you guys voted for on Facebook and Instagram. There weren't so many cardinal uh, votes. I'm going to do that one uh, in a couple weeks. Anyway, so there's my drawing. And then, so I'm marking out the shapes. I started with the nose, and the nose I actually had a little smaller. And then I drew the line going straight up from the nose. So I have a, a little bit of a reference point. And then I drew the circle around the nose and then the bigger shape around the face and then the shape between the eyes. And then I drew the eyes to so try and keep it, it's a little rounder than my sketch, I think, but try to keep it raccoon looking and to sort of, sort of like putting a puzzle together. You find the edges and then you find the same colors, make it a little easier. And then I marked out where I think the body's gonna go, but we'll see. It's looking pretty good. You can see, let's see if I can stick my toe out here. Oh, you can see that I was a little off on how wide that I thought the body would be. Um, but you also get a little bit of distortion as I'm standing and looking at it. And then so I drew the triangle, it's sort of a triangle shape um, on top of the head. So that kind of relates to where it ends above the eyes, and then that gives me an idea of where the ear should go. I think I'll start with the nose and the eyes and work out. But I think, oh, my reg blew. We are not too far off. Here's a process shot. Um, I'm wondering if I've got the face a little too wide. I think I'm committed though. <laughs> And then I don't think raccoons have that white around their eyes quite like that. I want to make sure when I smear it, things will grow. So I want to make sure that I don't lose the eyes. And then I'm putting in some color just to help define the areas. I may cover up a lot of that brown. I'm sort of just puzzling it out as I go. I thought I'd give you a little look. Yeah, see, it does depend on the angle about how things look. All right, I'll come back in a little bit and show you my progress. Okay, take a look here. So I brought the dark area underneath the nose, underneath the sort of white football shape up. And I think that's really helping. Oh, and I'm gonna show you my hand here. A lot of black today. <laughs> but it was, I'm gonna try and use my foot. <clears throat> it was all the way down here and I brought it up and I think that's helping. Cause I kind of have sort of an overall football shape. Uh, horizontal football shape to their face. Here's a progress shot. On this one, usually I start smearing and I do things in sections, but this one I was definitely nervous about and I wanted to uh, map it out more. Make sure I'm getting it right. And I thought I would use much more black and a lot more white. I'm gonna put more white around the uh, outside of his cheeks. But you just never know until you start working on it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how far I'm getting. I've smeared the eyes and I'm smearing primarily the dark colors, the black. But didn't those eyes turn out great? I think those look really nice. Just wanted to, I, I, you, can t you can hear it in my voice. I'm starting to get excited. Okay guys, I'm gonna go back to smearing some more. Here, I'll back up a little bit maybe too and give you another shot. 
if you've watched some of my painting videos on YouTube, you know that I talk about uh, brush stroke direction matters. Well, here, scribble stroke direction and now smear stroke <laughs> direction matters. I just wanted to show you. I like that I ran it into the seam of the driveway. I think that's nice. So I didn't want to forget, and I didn't want to get the neighbor's car license plate in this video. We have a sewer just like this in front of our house. So I'm going to turn the camera around. And what inspired me to do a raccoon is that they pop out about 10 o'clock, 10.30 from that sewer. Um, I don't know if they live down there or if they've come up the street from somewhere. But I'm also just about done smearing, but I wanted to pop in and say what inspired me to do a raccoon. So we have them. And then I think they go in our backyard and eat uh, the seed out of my bird feeder. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I put hello because I couldn't decide if it's a boy raccoon or a girl raccoon. I don't know. You guys can put in the comments. We can vote on that too. I love the polls. I signed it over here. Um, I didn't put my hand. I was uh, Ever since my daughter told me it looks like a chef hat, I haven't figured out how to do that a little differently. I think this raccoon turned out really cute. Here, I'll kind of get a little closer, see if I can get the whole thing in the... It's cloudy, which is really nice. It's about 8.15, so it takes me about two hours to map it out, uh, figure out how it's going to work, and then shade it all in. So if you're walking down the street, of course you won't see my box, but you'd see the raccoon. Okay guys, I give you enough, enough looks at it. Of course I also want to help my daughter, favorite daughter out. She edits my videos and sometimes if I walk around a little bit it gives her a couple of different screenshots to choose from. Okay, I'm gonna pick up and say goodbye. I'm just gonna walk over it and see if that helps. Oh yeah, I think we can get a better look at it. Cool. Whew. It's muggy this morning and so my hair has a little bit of wave to it. <laughs> and uh, you can tell there's a little bit of moisture in the air because the more moisture, the more wave I get. <laughs> I would fix it, but I really don't want to get this on my face or in my hair. <laughs> Um, I hope you really like this video. I love it that you helped me decide which image to chalk. That was, it's just so much fun. I really appreciate your comments, your social media shares. Um, it helps me so much. I'm pretty much all I do is go to the grocery store once a week. And so I hope this helps you even a little bit because it helps me tons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. Uh, like it, uh, leave a comment, all that stuff helps YouTube show this to more people because I think it's a good day brightener for everybody. I hope, I sure hope it's a good day brightener for everybody. If you're watching on Facebook or Instagram, leave a comment, let me know what you think, tell me where you're from, I love that too. Okay, I'm going on and on and on. Uh, we got to do art hugs. Thank you for watching, I look forward to hanging out with you soon. Bye guys.